Jan here from the Discovery Museum. I'm in my kitchen and I am going to be making pizza for a pizza party. Um, now today is also Endangered Species Day, so we're going to talk a little bit about both. But the first thing I did was wash my hands right before I pushed the play button. So now I've got my hands clean, I've got my apron on because I'm going to protect my clothes, make sure I don't get too messy. And then I've got my pizzas, uh, my little pizza doughs set out. They're tiny little guys. And uh, after reading the directions, the directions say that I need to preheat my oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So I've already got it preheated. Um, the next direction is to brush the dough with some olive oil. So I've got my olive oil and my brush. I'm gonna take these real quick and brush them with some olive oil. Make sure I spread the olive oil around. If you don't have a brush, you can do this uh, with a spoon or spatula. All right. okay. So since we're talking about endangered species today and celebrating them, um, let's talk a little bit about food chains and food webs. So food chain um, is is pretty simple. You've got your, uh, your sun, you've got the grass that grows, that gets energy from the sun, and then you get the bunny rabbit that eats the grass, and then you get the wolf that eats the bunny rabbit. That's the food chain, right? That's how energy flows in a um, in a, an environment. So now I've got my, my dough is ready. Um, dough is made of wheat, which is a grain, so a plant. And then I've got my tomato sauce. I, I've got really fancy. I got the pizza sauce. From this door, I'm going to put some of that on. I'm going to use my spatula to scoot that around. Oh, there's my oven. This is all heated. I'm going to need a little bit more sauce on these, I'm sure. So sauce, the tomato sauce is made from tomatoes. Tomatoes grow from the ground. They are plants. So they get their energy from the sun. That's how they get energy. And then we eat them, right? So we get energy from the tomatoes. So, we are consumers. The plants are producers. They produce energy for the consumers. The consumers eat the energy. Right? Okay. So now, I'm going to add the next thing. What do you need next on a pizza, right? You need, you've got the sauce, you've got the dough, now you need some cheese. So I'm going to take my cheese and I'm going to grate my cheese really quick. So that I have cheese to put on my dough. Now, cheese comes from cows, right? Comes from the dairy from cows. Cows are herbivores. They eat grass, right? And grass, grass is the producer, right? So, let's see. Is that enough cheese? I don't know. I really like cheese on my pizza. I just really like cheese. So let's put, sprinkle some cheese around. Let's see, I'll work on one pizza at a time. So the next thing I'm going to need, I'll slide my cheese off to the side. The next thing I'm gonna need, I'm gonna put on my pizza, I'm going to put some more plants. I'm gonna put some peppers, I'll chop some peppers up. So cutting up things is, it's really important when you're cutting up things to make sure that you have a sharp knife and maybe you have adult supervision. Don't worry, my adult is supervising right offside the screen. So you wanna make sure that you don't cut yourself, so you gotta be careful with this. This is a sharp tool. So you wanna use adult supervision and maybe you don't cut it, maybe your adult cuts it and you just help sprinkle it on the pizza. That's way more fun anyway. So I'm also gonna be putting some onion on mine I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of onion on. Onions come from the ground, they are plants. So we've got some more producers getting energy from the sun. So clearly it looks like I'm a vegetarian, right? I'm a, a, a herbivore, I only eat vegetables, right? Wrong. I am also going to add some pepperoni. Do you know where pepperoni comes from? Pepperoni? It's kind of like sausage, it comes from piggies. So, piggies, are 
omnivores. They eat everything. They eat meat and they eat vegetables. And they're kind of like us. We eat everything. Unless you choose to eat just vegetables, we're omnivores. We have teeth that help us eat everything. Now, I'm going to sprinkle some pepperoni on here. I'm almost ready for my pizza to be put in the oven. But I need one more thing. So a lot of times in our food chains, in our food webs, we've got our producer, right? The sun produces energy for the plants. The plants produce energy then for the consumer. We have our consumers like our bunny rabbits and our, our secondary consumers like our, our wolves. And then we also have decomposers. So these guys are mushrooms. Decomposers are, they, um, I don't have to wash this guy. Thought about it and I was like, no. no. Got all the dirt off of him. So mushrooms are fungi, the fungus, and they help decompose. They help break things down, turn them back into soil, and they add nutrients to the ground. So they are also part of the food chain but they don't get a whole lot of love. These guys are called decomposers. I'm gonna add some mushrooms to my pizza and now it's ready to go into the oven. Now, my directions, what do my directions say? Go back to those directions. Directions say, bake seven to nine minutes. I'm ready to go. All right, enjoy your pizza party for your endangered species day, or just enjoy learning a little bit about how to play in the kitchen.